What is up all you worship peoples? Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Nate Meist and I love equipping worship leaders with helpful and encouraging content. And today we're going to be looking at how to play on an acoustic guitar this new release by Matt Mayer called The Lord's Prayer, parentheses, it's yours. <laughs> uh, and at the end, we're going to bring this song into my most rigorous grading system to see how it does in a, you know, church and congregational setting. So stick around for that, but let's get into it. If you're new to this channel, thanks so much for hanging out with me. If these videos are helping you, which is the goal, um, why don't you give them a like and maybe even ring that notification bell and subscribe so that you don't miss future worship tutorials. Don't forget that this video is timestamped so you can skip ahead to any section of the song that you want to learn right now. Alright, there are three things we'll be covering in this video today to help you learn this song on an acoustic guitar. The first thing is uh, key and capo, so the song that the key was recorded in and uh, you know, using a capo to play in some other keys and what the key I'm doing it in. Uh, the second thing we'll be looking at are strumming patterns that I'm using to play through this song. There are three strumming patterns we'll be looking at. Um, and the third and final thing um, are the chords. I'll play through each section of the song and I will teach you the chords and I will have these handy little chord diagrams in the upper right hand corner to help you to do that. So you can pause the video and see exactly my finger placement on each chord that I'm playing. All right, so key and capo placement. This song was recorded in the key of A. I'm gonna be staying in that key for this tutorial. Uh, and what that means for you with the capo is you would have your capo on fret number two. So one, two, and you would play in what's called the G position. If you don't know what the G position is, I have a video for uh, that exact thing, so click up above or down below. If you wanted to play in some other keys, it's really easy to do that using the same exact chord shapes that I'm gonna teach you today. Uh, you would just stay in the G position, but move your capo around. So if you move your capo down one fret, that would put you in the key of either G sharp or A flat, it's the same thing. Um, or take your capo off completely and you would be in the key of G because it is the G position. If you wanted to go up at all, uh, you could go to fret number three. That would put you in the key of B flat. And one more fret, fret number four, would put you in the key of B. All right, so let's go over these three strumming patterns. Um, this strumming pattern is going to be for the intro and the verses. So one, two, three, four. All right, let's slow that down. So one, two, three, four, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. This strumming pattern will be for the chorus. I'm going to play through the entire chorus basically uh, because there's uh, you know a lot going on rhythmically and with the melody and how it falls in line uh, with the the rhythm. So um, let's just play through the whole chorus. So one, two, three, four. Alright, let's slow that down. So one, two, three, four, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down. Alright, 
and this third strumming pattern is for the bridge. So let's play through this and then we'll slow it down. So one, two, three, four. All right, let's slow that down. So one, two, three, four. Down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. All right, let's learn these chords. This is the intro of the song. I'm trying to mimic what the uh, organist is playing on the intro here uh, in a way that's still kind of simple and easy to learn for you guys. Um, and so I'm gonna give it a go. So let's let's try this intro. So one, two, three, four. Verse number one. One, two, three. Father, let your kingdom come. Father, let your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Right here in my heart. Father, let your kingdom come. Father, let your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Right here in my heart. All right, chorus number one. So one, two, three. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us, forgive us. As we forgive the ones who sin against us. Forgive them and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Let your kingdom come. Alright, verse number two, we're throwing a, a few more G susses in the mix for this one. So let's play through it. So one, two, three. Father, let your kingdom come. Father, let your will be done. On earth as in heaven, right here in my heart. Father, let your kingdom come. Father, let your will be done. On earth as in heaven. All right, and then for chorus two, um, it's the same exact chords for chorus one. So just refer to that first chorus. All right, let's play through this bridge. I did my best to kind of decipher the chords here. There's not really much out there chord chart wise for this song yet. So I kind of listened to the song with some like higher fidelity studio headphones to really kind of see what the bass was doing and the chord structure and all that. So this is what I came up with. It's pretty close, I think. So <laughs> hopefully this will suffice. This is the bridge. So one, two, three. It's yours, it's yours, all yours, all yours. The kingdom, the power, the glory are yours. It's yours, it's yours, all yours, all yours. Forever and ever, the kingdom is yours. It's yours. Oh yeah! Um, and it's the same exact chords as what I taught you for the second verse. Um, and then they do a tag uh, at the very end of that final verse, which is basically the ending of the song. Um, and it's basically, they just hold the G chord uh, for that tag. So, um, on earth as in heaven, right here in my heart. And then that's the end of the song. All right, those are all the chords for this song, guys. Man, this was a fun one. 
to learn, and I hope this video helps you to do that. But now that we've learned the chords and the lyrics and now all that stuff, why don't we bring this song into my rigorous grading system and see how it does. It could potentially receive up to three check marks in my grading system. The first check mark is whether this song could be played not only in a full band context, which sounds all great, you know, always, but could it also be pulled off on just one instrument like, say, an acoustic guitar or a piano? Um, and I'm going to say yes. I think that it could be pulled off on an acoustic guitar. I'm not sure so much with like a piano or another instrument, but this song kind of has that old like kind of like, you know, backcountry kind of feel. So I feel like it could fit nicely on just an acoustic guitar. Um, it would sound better, I think, with some accompaniment, you know, to really give it that rhythm. But yes, I think that it could do well on an acoustic guitar. Check mark number two. Would this song be easy to learn for you and your team, for instance? Like bringing a song into your rotation and learning it during the week for a Sunday morning. I'm gonna say no. Um, you know, the song is pretty simple. It's just got like a few sections that just kind of repeat over and over again. But the thing that would make it difficult for you to learn it with your team is deciphering how to, um, you know, how to apply this style of music into, uh, you know, your church culture, into your band and your repertoire. If you want to mimic the exact kind of that backcountry feel, you're going to have to work on that. You're going to have to make it sound legit to kind of give it that feel. So I don't think this is one of those songs that's like super easy, like, let, yeah, let's practice it for an hour and then we're done. We're ready for Sunday. I think this would take like the entire rehearsal, like a few hours you know, working on this song simply because of the style of the song and making sure that it sounds, you know, like the recording. And check mark number three, would this song be good in church, like singing it on a Sunday morning? I mean, I don't know. What do you think? It's the Lord's Prayer. Uh, I think, yes, absolutely, this song would work so well in the congregational setting. As I've been learning the song, I've already been thinking in my mind, like, man, should I do this song? I, I kind of really like it. I feel like my church would connect with it. It's just a really, like, encouraging kind of upbeat happy joyful song and it's speaking about something that we all know so well we're so familiar with the lord's prayer so i think content wise the church you already have the church's buy-in uh, stylistically um i feel like everybody appreciates a good backcountry song you know every once in a while you know get that country vibe in there so yes i think that all around this song would be a good plug-in for your sunday morning repertoire so that is the lord's prayer parentheses it's yours by matt mayer um just an amazing solid song um and i hope that this video once again helps you guys to learn the song if you're doing the song i want to hear from you comment down below and i hope wherever you guys are whatever you're doing ministry wise worship wise i hope that you're getting super crazy whatever you're doing and i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.